So, what do you know, class, about intellectual property rights? Any idea? Uh, um, um, intellectual property rights, sir. Right? Yes. Be gonna, uh, you own the rights to this in intellectual property. Okay. You own the rights to this thing. So it about uh, it, it's about class contents. Uh, where we have to give due credits. They are class for the content creators okay that's one how about cyber crime what do you know about cyber crime um cyber crime sir uh kanang stealing pirating stealing mga data pirating software yes these are cyber crime so in this afternoon class, uh, yes, Jan Mary. Ah, uh, record sad ko sir. Pwede na ako mag-record sir. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so we have here from James Francis. He, he mentioned class that cyber crime are illegal activities performed using a computer. So that's right. That's cyber crime. Okay, so for this afternoon, her our class our learning objectives. One is that you should be able class to identify the types of intellectual property rights so there are three types class of intellectual property rights to enumerate we have class uh, copyright trademark and then we also have here patents so if you're familiar class with any of these terms copyright patent and trademarks i hope you can participate as we go along with our discussion in this afternoon then we'll, uh, we will also be discussing class the U.S. Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Are you familiar with this, or have you ever, class, uh, mentioned this term? Like, for example, when you try to search for a movie, and then there's a note there that some contents were not displayed due to due to violation of U.S. Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Have you encountered this one? Yes, sir. When trying to find pirated movies yes when you try to find class mga free movie downloads that uh, that usually came up so some of this contents class violated this u.s digital millennium copyright act so we'll get to know class what are these uh, some of the co features or contents of this u.s digital millennium copyright act and it's not only class limited to movies but also class to software applications like when you try to search for a crack software it will also appear class that some of the contents were not displayed due to violation of u.s digital millennium copyright act or u.s class the so-called u.s dmca so dmca class that again stands for digital millennium copyright act then will be also class to, uh, you will also be able to identify the categories of cyber crime and then you should be able class to cite examples of cybercrime. And then finally, we'll be discussing class the salient features of Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012. So that you will be familiar class, what are those cybercrimes which are uh, which can be penalized or which has uh, which have class legal actions when you try to perform them. Okay? So there are that's the learning objective class for this afternoon. Are there questions so far or clarifications class of what you will know at the end of this lesson? Okay, so if there's none, we, snap, we can now start our class discussion. Okay? So, can you cite me class an example where cyber, uh, cyber crime might have been committed? In what instance class? that cyber crime is already committed any idea class can you give me class an example of a cyber crime sample na lang Uh, 
Okay, from Jan Mary, we have here pirating, downloading copyrighted content without the owner or uh, without the per permission from the owner. Yes, that's a cyber crime because you try to download files which which will not uh, which is not of course belongs to you. Okay, we have also from guard identity theft. Yes, when you try to stall someone else's identity, that's identity theft. Then from Joanna, she would mention class about cyber squatting. So cyber squatting class is just like creating a website which is not owned by a company just to misrepresent class the audience. Okay? To misrepresent class a company or to mislead the audiences from the actual website of a company. That's cyber squatting. Then from Weasley, we have your email and internet fraud. So these are examples class of cyber crime. Yes, from Jaya, we, uh, we have also system interference. So it's good to know class that you that you already have idea of what cyber crimes are all about. Okay. How about this one? Was there any action class in the government of the Philippines to combat cyber crime? How do the Philippines class combat this cyber crime? What uh, laws were created to combat cyber crime? Okay. Well, anyway, class, for this afternoon, we'll be talking class the Cyber Crime Prevention Act of 2012, which is one of the actions of the Philippines to combat class the uh, cyber crime uh, incidents in the Philippines, so that we can so that we can now penalize those individuals class violating the Cyber Crime Prevention Act of 2012. Okay. So we we'll start class with our discussion. So when we say class intellectual property, these are uh, works created by the minds of an individual. Okay. It exists in the minds class of individual, which are, uh, which are, uh, which are about class to be put into something tangible. But then they are not yet placed class in the tangible format so that we can touch, we can hear, and hold these objects. They are still intangible. So we call them class as intellectual property because these this are products of thinking. Okay. It is products class by individual who are trying to be creative. And these are of course class intangible assets. So since they are, intang in, they are intangible assets class, it's really quite hard to protect these um, properties because you cannot really store this one in a safe so that no one can really touch this one. Hence we have here the so-called class intellectual property rights or what we call class IPR okay and this intellectual property class includes the intangible assets okay intangible class we to say again we cannot physically touch these properties because they are intangible and it includes class software so software classes are sets of instruction these are program codes written in order class to perform a specific task since these are instructions class of programs and codes, we cannot physically touch this object. Therefore, it has to be protected with an intellectual property. The same is true class with data. With data, we cannot really touch the data unless they are printed in, they are in a printed format. Data stored class in a computer are, of course, intangible. And then again, since it's quite hard class to protect these objects because they, they are intangible, it has to be protected by intellectual property rights. The same is true class with recordings. Okay? Any recordings that you have created class is still part of intellectual property rights. So you cannot just distribute any recording from our class without my permission because it is I who conducted the lesson, therefore, I own the copyright, okay? You cannot just distribute any copy of this recording and uh, for, uh, for some amount of money because this is not your copyright, it is my copyright. So it is still covered class with 
intellectual property rights. The same is true class when you watch movie from a theater. Okay? You're not allowed to take any recording because you don't own the movie. You are just paying to watch the movie but you don't own the movie. Hence, the copyright doesn't belong to you. The same pa class when you try to rent a movie, a CD, the, uh, the copyright doesn't still belong to you. You only rented for you to watch a movie and you don't have the right to sell or distribute the, a copy of this movie because the copyright doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the film producer. Okay, I hope class that clarifies. More than that, we also have class a new design of mousetrap. Perhaps class uh, designs are also protected by intellectual property rights. Design of a mousetrap is just one of the designs class which can be created. All designs class are protected with intellectual property rights. Therefore, you cannot just copy a design created by someone without asking their permission. Okay? Because again, they are, protect they are protected with intellectual property rights. The same is true class with algorithms. Are you familiar class with algorithms? What do you know class about algorithms? Class, what do you know about algorithms? So when you say class algorithms, these are actually set of instructions on how to perform a specific procedure. So step-by-step -step process. Now usually class, we use algorithms to solve a specific problem. And it is usually class employed when we create programs. So before, before a computer program class is created, an algorithm class is created first. Why do we need an algorithm? So we need class an algorithm so that we can we can logically sequence our codes, which step should be done first, and which step class should be performed last. Para dili magmix class ang mga trabaho on. Para you will know which things are to be done first, which comes next, and so on and so forth. So it's just like class a step by step procedure on how to solve a specific task. Since these are set class of procedures, these are still intangible. And then of course, since they are intangible and products of the mind of an individual, they are protected under intellectual property rights. So when you take class courses like computer science and information technology, and so class with computer engineering, you will deal with basic to complex algorithms. Okay? So again, when you say algorithms, it's just like class a step-by-step -step process on how to solve a specific task. Okay? Then cure of a disease is also class part of intellectual property. And then your intellectual property rights class includes three major aspects. One is that we have your copyright, patent, and trademark okay so we'll go through class each of these intellectual property rights copyright you will uh, you will know class what are copyrights patents and of course class what are trademarks so let's start class with copyrights can you read the definition of a copyright Joanna Copyright, protected, tangible, or fixed expression of an idea, but not the idea itself. Okay, so when we say class copyright, the idea is now put into something class tangible. Say, for example, you have this idea, and then you put your idea class into writing. Either you write it manually with your paper and ball pen, or you print class your uh, what's on your mind. Okay? Once you started printing class was on your mind or imuha mga ideas, it is now protected with copyright. So, what do I mean here? So, with a copyright class, me to say your idea is now placed into something tangible. 
since it's, since it's already tangible, it is now protected with copyrights. Okay? So, uh, what to deal with copyrights? Okay? Every time class, you produce, uh, you created a poem, and then you put the poem into writing, and then you post it online, it is now protected class with copyright. With the copyright, mean to say class, uh, anybody is not allowed to use the poem or distribute the poem that you created without asking your permission or without due credits on you. Like for example, no? Uh, na post kag poem online sa Facebook. And then you garnered class several uh, thousands of reactions. Dekan na nareas sa imuhang poem. Dekan po nag-share. And then here comes your friend nga naibog nga na jealous about you, okay? Nakakreate kag poem. So, what this friend do is that yang gikapi o gipost niya claiming as it his own nga output. Iha nga, yang, yang claim class nga, it is my work. So with that, if you have proof na ikaw ang nag-own sa kap, ang nag-create ani niya, then you can always file a complaint on copyright infringement on your friend na claiming that it is his work, his or her work, when in fact, it is your work. So, every time class you create a content, a copyright class is also born. So, it's explicit. Every content class that we created bears at the copyright. So, meaning to say class, when you try to search for information online, you cannot just copy and paste it on your assignment claiming as your own idea. It is not your idea. Imura nang copy-paste from your online source. And then, claiming it as your own is an copyright infringement against the owner. Therefore, we should know, uh, we should, uh, we should not do that thing. If you want us to cite someone else's idea, uh, idea you have to better cite your references to give due credits to the author of the idea from which you are trying to borrow. Wala ka class na claim it as your own, you only borrowed idea from someone else, so you have to cite the author. Okay? Examples class of objects na protected with copyright. One is that we have literary works. Your literary works class includes music, poem, drama, melodrama, and so with other mga literary pieces. So those are all protected class with copyrights. Research article. When you try class to publish articles, those are protected with copyright. Therefore, you cannot just copy and paste any research articles and claim it as your own. That uh, This is not allowed. Okay? When you want to borrow someone else's idea, you have to cite them as your references. So, Anna class, when you do your research, you, you always have to cite your author to, ju, uh, to give class due credit to the individual who tried to work hard on that article para ma-publish. So, you should try to cite class there, uh, give, giving class due credit to the owner. Then, musical works. So, anybody class, mga composer, they own the copyright. Except if ilang gibaligya class ilang copyright to a company. Kung ilang gibaligya, kung ilang gibaligya class ang ilang copyright, therefore, wala ang sila hold. Pero if wala lang gibaligya, so they still own the copyright. Okay? Dramatic works. Those mga stage place class, Stage places are dramatic works and they are still protected with the copyright. Once they are protected class with copyright, mean to say you cannot film them while they are acting on stage and then produce this film as your own because you don't own the copyright. Okay? And then if worst case is that you don't have the permission to take the film while they are trying to act on stage. Pantomime. Those are you familiar are you familiar class with pantomime? Um, pantomime class is, is just a uh, stage play with no 
uh, sound at all. Purely actions na siya. Mag sign language ang gamit sa pantomime. Okay? It's a dramatic work yung na siya. Except that wala kay mabdungog class nga tingog nila. Purely actions lang. Choreographic works like mga dances perform on stage which are choreographic works. So of course, they are protected class with copyright. Then again, since they are protected with copyright, you cannot film them and claim it as your own work because that viol that violates class on copyright. Pic mga pictures, okay? When you uh, when you try class to grab photo from someone else's album, you have to give due credits. Kung kisa nag kisa ang photographer ane nga picture. Otherwise, you already violated class the copyright of the owner. So you have to always acknowledge class the owner from whom you have borrowed the images that you use. Graphics. Mga pictures class of someone else. Then graphics, mga images still. These are protected class with copyrights. If you feel class that your images has been used by someone else as a commercial for commercial use without giving due credits on you as creator of that image or of the creator of that graphic then you can always file for copyright complaint against the, against this individual sculptural works mga sculptures yang mga carvings these are still protected class with copyright motion pictures class and other audiovisual works uh, with motion pictures class, uh, we are trying to mean here those movies. Okay? Mga videos, sounds, which are motion pictures and audiovisual works. You cannot just, again, you, you cannot record a movie because the copyright doesn't belong to you. Okay? And it's illegal to distribute class a copy of a movie without permission from the filming company. Sound recordings, okay? When you try to record class uh, music, that's uh, and claiming it, uh, it as your own, that's a violation of copyright. So whenever class you try to use a sound for your video, make sure to always acknowledge class the creator of that music you are trying to use. Otherwise, if uh, ka deklamo against copyright, okay? Very particular for class ang YouTube sa sound recordings. If you try to use class muse as sounds, and and then kining music is copyrighted, then there's a possibility nga maklose imuhang account kay ne violate ka against copyright. Architectural works, ilahang mga design class created by architects, these are still protected class with copyright. So therefore, if they are protected class with copyright, you're not allowed to distribute. Like, you have a design class created by an architect for your house. Then, there's your friend na ganahan po napadesign. O balay, na parehas yung muha nga balay po. You cannot sell that design because, of course, you do not own the copyright. It is the architect who owns the copyright, therefore, they didn't appear anymore eh, distribute. Unless you have the permission from the architect that you can distribute his work. Okay? Questions class or clarification so far? The same is true class with software. Like Microsoft. Microsoft class, they have their own copyright. Therefore, therefore class, we are not allowed to distribute any software created by Microsoft without proper license. Okay? And there are still a lot more class nga articles and objects class and items which are protected with copyrights. Other questions so, so far class or clarifications about what are the scope of copyright? Last other questions? Kung sa scope sa copyright? Last other question so far. 
Okay, so I do hope class, I have given you as uh, idea kung asa apply class ang copyright. So, next thing class is that, why is copyright important to an owner? Why does copyright matter to content creator? And why do we have copyrights? Yes, John Mary? Because it's important to know kalang who the original creator of our work is. Yes, it's very important class that we acknowledge the original creator of the content that we are trying to use. So, what are their rights as the copyright owner? Okay, once class you created an article or created against, uh, you created a work, a literary piece, a music, you created class a drama, you have the right against infringements. So, infringements class me to say others cannot use the article without your permission if you publish an article. Okay. Another benefit as a copyright owner is that you have the right class to reproduce the material that you have created. Like naka, like uh, like class naka publish ka og poem. So you have the right to reproduce the poem that you have created. And then from there, once you try to reproduce the article, you can earn money. So din na pwede nga others will be selling your article without uh, without giving you some amount. Bayran man kan nila. Murag profit sharing man na. Pila may share ni mo as copyright owner and then pila po share nila as distributor. Na nai fair nga payment. When, when they try to reproduce your article as a copyright owner. So yung class ka, importante ang copyright owner ka. Then you have also the right class to modify the content that you have created. So, again class, if you're not con if you're not the copyright owner, you don't have any right to change or, art or, or alter something from the content that you are trying to use. Because in the first place, you don't own the copyright. If, but then, if you are the copyright owner, if you created the original material, you can directly edit and make changes class to the article that you have created. Because you own the copyright. Then, of course, you do have the distribution rights. Pwede ka mag-distribute sa imuhang original article na imuhang nag-create. You have the right to reproduce and distribute class the uh, sound recording that you have created. Imuhang podcast. Okay? You have the right to distribute because ikaw may naghimuan na. Okay? But then, kung ikaw class, igo na ka nag-download and then imuhang nag-distribute for a fee, then you will be held liable because it is not your copyright. Therefore, you do not have the reproduction and distribution rights. Then, if you have class the copyright owner, if you have the copyright for your material, you can do public performance right. Okay? You can per, uh, you can perform for uh, in a public with your original article without citing class kung this anigikan. Then public display rights. Example class, mga movie theaters, mga stage plays, they can readily perform it in public because they own the copyright. Pero kung nag-record record ka diha, ah, then imo siyang i-distribute, then pindi ka makihaan sa original content creator because wala kay permission to distribute this material because you don't own the copyright and therefore wala kay rights to display it in public. Question class or clarification about copyrights? So whenever class, when you, when, when you are given class an assignment to search for the definition of this article or of this term, you, have, you always have class to acknowledge the uh, reference, the website from which you try to get that idea. Immuning site class as reference. Okay? To acknowledge class na that idea is coming from this website and not yours. Okay? It's not just enough class na mo copy paste but to express a class in your own wordings. Immunang i-reward. Immunang express 
in your own words. Dili na nimo i-copy word for word. It's a big no-no because it's a violation of copyright. And then make sure also class to cite always the reference. Okay, questions class or clarifications? May questions class? Sabtanda? So let's move to the next slide. Let's move class to patent. When do we use class patents? Kung ang copyright class is for those expression which are expressed class in tangible format, what about patents? Asa man name apply ang patents? Any idea? In idea class, asa magamit ang patent? Um, Akisha? Asa ka magamit ng Akisha? Yes, that's selling the invention. So, in other words class, ang patent applies to invention sa mga inventors. Is the property right given to the inventor. Kung kinsay na ka, invent ani nga utility, ani nga machine, or ani nga device. That's what we call class patent. So, when you, kung makakreate ka o something class, something new nga device, you are given class a patent. But then, a patent class, ang patent, unlike class, di ba, ang copyright is automatically assigned to the creator. So, once you created class a uh, uh, for example, a research article, the copyright is automatically given to you. But then with patent class, you s but uh, with patent, this right still needs to be applied. Imo pa na apply ang patent ani nga invention before ka matagaan og patent. Okay? Then, arin asan nimo apply ka sa IPO, sa patenting office. Okay? So, ang patent, it excludes class others from making, using, offering for sale, or selling the invention. So, say for example, uh, do you know class kisa naka-discover or kisa naka-invent sa fluorescent lamp? Anybody class who know? The inventor of fluorescent lamp. Class. When I came down, since I inventor sa fluorescent lamp. Ang clue word class. My clue is that it is invented by a Filipino. Filipino class na invent sa fluorescent lamp is only that. Ihang gibaligya ang patent. Kay walay budget ang Philippines. <laughs> well, sorry. Okay? But anyway, class, uh, so much for that. Uh, when you say class patent, um, it is a right given to the inventor. So, when you have the patent class, others cannot create the same invention that you have created. So, dili sila class, for example, ang, uh, if ang fluorescent lamp. Ang fluorescent lamp class was invented by a Filipino. Since Filipino class na invent sa fluorescent lamp, therefore other countries cannot create the same invention as what is invented by a Filipino. Because, because this invention is protected by a patent. Protected by a patent, therefore dili siya pwede magka-construct o another similar device because wala man siya patent to use that. Since dili sila uh, since dili sila pidi maka create of the same device or the same invention dili pud sila pidi mamaligya they cannot offer it for sale or they cannot say uh, they cannot sell class the invention that's the right class am hatag when you have a patent so when you have the patent you can only create you can distribute and you can sell your invention so you have the uh, you have this class the exclusive rights as an inventor. That's how important a patent is. Because class, if you don't have a patent for that, for your invention, other can 
others class can create the same invention that you have created, sell them, and claim it as their own. Whereas, when you apply a class for a patent, kung na kay patent ang material, dili na sila pwede mag-create of the same invention. At the same time, dili po sila makabaligya o makadistribute ani nga, in, ani nga device because naman ni mo ang patent. So, what are the types of patent? One class is that we have these utility patents. So, utility patents class is granted to anyone who invents or discovers new and useful processes, machine, article of manufacture, composition of matter or new, and useful improvement thereof. So, for example, naka invent ka class or device na mo convert sa carbon dioxide to oxygen then you can apply that as a patent okay and it will be under utility patent because it's a device then aside class from utility patents is that we also have design patents and design patents class it only includes the design of an article ornamental design or article for a manufacturer so, uh, the design patents class is that well, as I actual device, it's only a design on how to create a specific device. Like for example, you were able class to design a new vehicle na which can be powered by solar energy. Ikaw na design ng automobile nga, so purely powered by solar energy ang magamit niya to run this automobile. That's a design patent. Pero once you started constructing this automobile powered by solar energy, then you can apply for utility patent. Pero kung design pa lang asya class, design patent ang hatagan niya. Pero kung imo na kung kung imo na siyang construct, it's now a utility patent. Then also have class plant patents. These are granted to anyone who invents or discovers and or successfully reproduces any distinct and new variety of plants like mga grafted mga grafted class nga plants you can apply for plant patents for that if na siya is something new aside sa usual grafted plants nga ma-produce like for example imuhang guava imong gigrafted and then produce sa og apple so that's something new then if, then you can apply plant patent for your discovery okay Question class or clarification about patents. Again class, ang patents are for inventions. And then ang copyright are for uh, literary works and research articles. Or anything class from ideas converted into tangible uh, format imohang expression of idea converted class into t t into something tangible it is now protected with copyright but then class kung imo idea it is not protected with copyright kay wala man mo siya put into writing like uh, like for example you tell your idea about your uh, to your friend and then ang friend na anagrat og article about your idea so ang copyright is na sa imong friend kay wala man mo kay siya man nag put into writing and then and then he has claim as, as his own. So whenever you have idea, you always have to put it into writing. You have idea, conduct research, para na kay kapirat ang idea. Ano ang class? Question class or clarifications about copyright and patents. Class questions. Sabta na class, uh, uh, am I clear? Am I understood? Okay, let's now move class with trademark. Any idea class of what trademark is all about? Kung ang copyright class are for articles, music, uh, drama, and patents are for invention, what about for trademarks? Why are trademarks class necessary?
in a dear class, why a trade mask class necessary? Okay, from Akisha, she had mentioned that trademarks are symbols. Yes, trademarks class are symbols which gives identity to a specific company. So, mura siya ang unique identity. Once you have this trademark, then others cannot, can no longer use this symbol used to represent a specific company. Okay, for example, usa may trademark sa Coca-Cola. Diba, they have their own logo. Since they have their trademark class ilahang company, others cannot use the same logo because it is protected with a trademark. So, mean to say class and trademark are something and uh, these are word, name, or symbol or device used to indicate a source of goods and it will help to make their products different from the others. So, mura sa lahang identity. Once makakita ta nga logo, makibawta nga this food or this product is coming from this company. Yan a class ang trademark. Mura sa identity. Since it's uh, since a trademark class is an identity of a specific company, then nobody should be able to use this trademark or their logo or their symbol or their name without proper permission. So, yan a class ang trademark. Like for example, Jollibee. Usa may trademark sa Jollibee. One is that their name. We cannot create a store with the name of Jollibee because Jollibee is a registered trademark of Jollibee Foods Incorporated. Therefore, we cannot use the name of Jollibee because it is protected with trademark. Then another one class, ilahang identifying feature, ilahang B. Okay? Ilang bubuyog. Okay? This is a trademark also of Jollibee. Once we can see their uh, statue, then we can see that it's Jollibee. Okay? The same with McDonald's Corporation. They have their own mascot and logo and so with their name, which are of course class protected with a trademark. Uh, if you ever heard class a news, 7-Eleven uh, com making a complaint to a store with a name of 7 Evelyn is somewhat a trademark claim. It's a trademark claim because it creates much similar. Like on color, my gamut class, it's still part of trademark. The colors used in a specific company are also part of their trademarks. Therefore, you cannot, uh, you can no longer use the same set of colors because they are protected with trademarks. Katong case class sa Seven Evelyn is a trademark claim because the same ang colors, then more or less the same ang ilang appearance. Mula pa something misleading. So pwede makaklaim sa ato ang Mato nga, nireklamo ang 7-Eleven Corporation about ato nga store. That's a trademark claim on the part of 7-Eleven nga Corporation. Okay? Because class, a trademark, it gives your identity. And once, once others class are trying to use your trademark, they can damage the reputation class of a company. Especially class, if they are bringing the name of a company and then they are selling products at a low, at a low quality. Nag-branch at RRJ, pero ang quality is not a quality of RRJ. That could be a trademark claim on RRJ. If we can find out nga, na ay someone using their logo and then selling these products which were not obviously coming from them. That could be a trademark claim for a company. And not only class for those logo, but also class the formula. For example, Ang Coca-Cola class has a different taste with Pepsi because they have their own chemical formula on how they mix these chemicals to create their uh, beverage. Diba? Lahi ang taste class Coca-Cola, lahi po ang taste sa Pepsi Cola because again, they have their, their own unique formula. And this formula class is protected with a trademark. Okay? So, dili siya pwede ni mo i baligya ang formula to the other company because mawala ang ilahang competitive advantage. Mawala ilahang identity na once they can taste this product, ma-reflect na gikan dun sa Coca-Cola. Once makataste ang nga beverage, may kaingon ang user or ang nag-inom na this is a Pepsi-Cola product. 
Yung anak klasika, importante ang trademark. It gives you the identity of the company as an organization. Question class or clarifications? So, dili na pwede class, ibaligya ang formula. Like, uh, like for example, you work for Pepsi Cola. Or, yes. And then, you have known class how to create this beverage because you work from there for years. So, dili na pwede class that you are going to establish your own company and then maghimo ka the same na beverage coming from the formula used by Pepsi Cola because it's their trademark, it's their uh, product identity. Once makadiscover sila class that you are using the same chemical formula to create your beverage, then they can always file for trademark claims. Okay? Maka-file sa trademark claims na class because imuhang digamit ang ilahang chemical formula. Mawala ang ilahang identity. Ilahang competitive advantage. Okay? Question class or clarification about trademarks. Okay, from trademarks class, we also have your service mark. So, ang service mark, is our, uh, it will identify and distinguishes a source of a service rather than a product. So, ang service mark class, it all, it all applies class to services. Like for example, so may example class sa service mark. Ang service mark class, for example, ang ilang mga tagline. Okay? Ang tagline sa BDO, tagline sa Metro Bank, tagline sa PNB, they have their own taglines. And that's part of their service mark. So, since it's part of their service mark, then you can no longer use the same tagline for your company because it, they are already established. Like for example, ang BDO, we find ways. That's their tagline. That's part of their service mark. Therefore, you cannot establish your own company and have a tagline now we find ways because that's already a registered service mark for BDO. Question class or clarifications about trademarks. Okay, so I hope class clear na ang copyright, patents, and trademark. Are these ideas class clear? Patents, copyright, and trademark? Now, Murag, uh, silent from class. So, tell me class if it involves copyright, patent, or trademark. A movie. Which intellectual property rights class should be applied when you have a move for a movie? Is it copyright, patent, or trademark? Plus, a movie, is it copyright, patent, or trademark? Okay, so a movie class is our literary works. Therefore, it is protected with... Kung literary works class, that's protected with... Okay. Plus, kung literary works, ang sumar protection, is it patent, trademark, or copyright? Okay, that's copyright. Copyright class ang movie. Okay, how about class ang... Um, how about the logo of PNB? ang ilang eagle which intellectual property rights class is applied for the logo of PNB is it copyright patent or trademark logo class mga logo okay logo class are protected with trademarks okay how about class ang kuan Invention of electric coconut grater. The invention class of electric coconut grater. Kanang electric nga kaguran. 
Okay, that's patent. Kaya is an invention. Okay, I do hope class, all these three are clear. Copyrights, patent, and trademark. So this time class, we'll move with another important aspect when we talk class about intellectual property rights which is now gaining international attention which is the US uh, DMCA so DMCA class that stands for Digital Millennium Copyright Act okay we're in class in the US Digital Millennium Copyright Act it strengthens the protection of copyrighted materials in digital format and not only class that this right or this copyright act is implemented in US but also it has gained class international attention so we do apply this US the DMCA class is not only applied in US but also to the rest of the world because it was designed and implement and to be implemented class in the World Intellectual Property Rights Organization or, the, or in the WIPO signed into law during in the year 1998. So, dugan class na gamit ang DMCA. So, what do we have DMCA? Can you read? And Trisha, the third bullet, can you read? <coughs> anong natay DMCA? Okay. So since class iba ang ato ang mga materials are now digitally accessible, so there's also a possibility that copyrights of these uh, digital formats can easily be revoked or can easily be infringed. So in that uh, in, in that instance, there's really a need to strengthen on how to protect these materials which are in digital format because class again and those materials which are in digital format they can easily be accessible once like a computer like internet then you can really access these materials so with that idea they, uh, they feel the need to strengthen para po ma, ma protect ang rights for the copyright owners okay what if na mo download ng movie and then ihang i-distribute so siya ay gain of money instead a movie producer or ang film producer okay so money nga na-create ang US Digital Millennium Copyright Act and it's not only the class limited to movies but also to software application na movies, music recordings which are covered with US Digital Millennium Copyright Act like for example no, you have a uh, software and then imong gibaligya claiming it, it as your own or bisan pa wala nimo claim as, as your own pero na distribute ka nga software for a fee so you are still violating class the copyright of the software company because instead na sila unta ang maka gain og money kay it is their copyright ikaw na man oy naka gain which in fact wala kay gibuhat igo ra ka na download sa software and that's again a violation of US Digital Millennium Copyright Act okay and then at the same time with DMCA it prohibits class attempts to bypass measures having both uh, civil and, crimi and criminal penalties for violation so once you violate, violated class this US DMCA then you are held for legal actions okay it is already signed into law in the year 19 98. So, what are my actions na exempted from DMCA? So, I guess, uh, I guess class, you are already aware of what copyright is. So, whatever class things that we discuss on copyright, it is still applied in the US Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Except that, nasa yi add nga exemption. So, kisa may ma exempted sa US. Digital Millennium Copyright Act. One is that 
fair use. So a fair use class means to say it permits others to perform, show, quote and copy and distribute versions of the work for review, comment and discussion of copyrighted works. So means to say class, if you try to review a research article, then you are not violating any copyright acts from or you are not, you're not violating any copyright from the author because you can review a research article when you try to use this article class for discussion like teachers and teachers class they are exempted from uh, the MCA because we are using these articles for educational purpose but besides the class oh, we are using this for educational purpose we always have to cite the reference kung asagi kan okay that's fair use okay for review comment and discussion of operated works when you try to present this article to your class that's accepted because that's part of fair use pero again class someday po when you become teacher you always have to cite your reference para dili tama uh maka violate o copyright acts then another one class ang exempt from the MCA is what we call reverse engineering ang reverse engineering class only apply to software products so so what do we mean class when we say reverse engineering when we say class reverse engineering we try to use an existing software and then we try to check with our uh, we, we created class a new software and then we wanted to check whether this software is compatible with the operating system so we need to get a copy of their operating system for us to check kung ang software na atong create is also compatible ang software for compatibility purposes atong check whether these two software can work hand in hand like for example you created a software for um, manage your sales to manage class the sales of an organization and then you want to have a database class using Microsoft na SQL database so in that instance you can check with your application if it's compatible with this application with a Microsoft na database and it's part of reverse engineering and you will not be held liable for the MCA for violating any copyright because because you do not create new product but instead imorang siyang check for compatibility then you also have class for encryption research like for example you are trying to develop class uh, one, an algorithm na makadecrypt of mga files then you are exempted for sa the MCA then lastly is for security testing when you, when you try class to test a network in good faith so take note class it is uh, mentioned here that in good faith so in good faith class you are just trying to check also my possible problems sa company so that you must address as early as possible so that's exempted class for the MCA like again class uh, imong get check ang software kung sa may possible issues kung sa may possible problems ani nga software ani nga di create that's exempted ka na for DMCA and then lastly class is for personal privacy in personal privacy class uh, you have here a reasonable way to prevent access or to reveal record of personally identifying information so that's Exempted for the MCA. Question class or clarifications? <laughs> class, are there questions or clarifications class about the MCA? So, this time, class, we let's now proceed with cybercrime. So, basically, class, cybercrime refer to words cyber and crime so cyber class it pertains class to computer and then crime these are illegal action so in short class when we say cyber crime 
these are any criminal activity with the, uh, with the use class of computer wherein the computer's class can be a tool to create a criminal activity a target or it could be a place of criminal activity so that's what we call class cyber crime so again class we say cyber cyber crime it's any uh, criminal activity which uses a computer as a tool to commit criminal ac action it could be a target or it could be a place of criminal activity and we have heard the categories class of cyber crime one is that computers as a target so when you say class computer as a target mean to say class computers are again the target of the crime so they targeted class computers to commit a cyber crime ilang attack ang specific computer example class ang denial of service attack a denial of service attack class they, they are trying to attack computers so the targets there are also computers and that's example of computer as targets then uh, then another another example class for computer as targets is for acquisition of information when you try to target a computer for the purpose of acquiring information stored in a database of this computer then that's a cyber crime you targeted a computer then controlling the system without authorization or payment you try to control class a specific computer para makagain access ka sa lahang network that's still a cyber crime in the category of computer as targets when you alter data when you try to modify class data stored in a database that's still a cyber crime classified as computer as targets and then the one which I have mentioned earlier ang denial of service attack so denial of service attacks you still attack computer and that makes computer as targets then from computer as targets we also have computer as storage devices so a computer's class can be targets of cyber crime or it can be used as storage devices we're in class the computer, the computer are used to stall uh, are used to store stolen password list na credit card and calling num card numbers or in some way class computers were used to store pornographic videos or pornographic images and that makes computer class a cyber crime or that make that incident a cyber crime in which computers are used to as storage devices so me to say class and computers are used to stall illegal files illegal files class includes stolen passwords stolen credit card numbers stolen uh, calling card numbers mga pornographic files mga pirated commercial files and that's still a cyber crime in the category class of computer as storage devices and of course class that is prohibited action so you, you cannot store any pornographic files in your computer once matres na then you can be held for legal actions and then last 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 category class is that computers as communication tools so in this third category class we use the computer to communicate in order to commit a criminal activity like for example nag nagamit ka class og messenger para maka commit mo og criminal activity and that and that and this is still part of cyber crime because that falls as computer used as communication tools so in this category class the computers are used to facilitate communication in commute in committing crime crimes online for example sell a uh, selling class of prescription drugs uh, illegally na kana namligya ka og mga drugs matamba class without prescription online because usually class these drugs re requires prescription kung wala kay prescription class when, uh, when i say class prescription is a simple note class mo sa papel naghihatag mo or in bisaya we call that one as resita kung wala kay resita sa doctor then you cannot buy this drug okay nga tambal so 
gini na pwede nga mamaligi ka og uh, dr- prescription drugs without prescription from a doctor so mono, uh, if you could uh, notice class when you buy some drugs of on mga drug store dili katagaan unless well nakay resita sa doctor because it's illegal to sell these prescription these prescription drugs if you don't have a prescription coming from the doctor so when you sell this online that's illegal controlled substances some of the controlled substances class these are mga illegal drugs okay that's mga sa dark web very common they use computers as communication tools selling up alcohols online guns fraud gambling child pornography so these are mga common action class in which uh, which uh, which are still part of cyber crime okay so i do hope class nakasabot mo ani these things so any activities class which involves the use of computer in commu- uh, in committing a crime is classified as cyber crime whether class the computer are a target are stored are storage device or computers as are used as communication tools okay any illegal activity class done by the use class of computer are classified as cyber crime questions class or clarifications Yes, other questions? Okay.